So, so I have that Microsoft, and this has been on a couple of news outlets, and it's 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 definitely confirmed. While it's not out yet, Microsoft has announced an iPhone keyboard yes, um, that those. uses Word Word Flow, mm-hmm. um, and this is a number of of apps that are quickly being announced all by Microsoft Garage um, for iOS. But one of the cool things that it, that it features is obviously the flow format. So if you're familiar with swipe or any of those, you can actually swipe around the letters. Um, if you kind of look at the first picture in the article that I posted, um, you can actually see they have a one hand mode for the keyboard and you can actually make it where it's left or right handed, but it actually arcs the keyboard wow. along the, the, kind of 45 degree angle of where your thumb would be to make it easier to reach. And to me, this is something that they actually thought through when, when I see something like swipe on Android and it's on a 5.7 inch screen, there's no way you're getting your thumb to reach anything on that left hand <laughs> side. So you have, you have to, you can't use the, the device one handed. And I do find myself using, I have an iPhone success not the plus and the reason that I don't go for the larger screen is because I can't get my thumb to the corners of the screen this kind of solves for that and it makes me wonder if I would consider larger screens based on the fact that then I could still continue to type one-handed yeah the the other thing that really surprised me about this is that it's it's Microsoft releasing something out to iOS kind of before they get it to their platform. And maybe this is something we'll see as part of Windows 10 almost at the same time because they say it'll launch within the next few months for for iOS. Um, so it's a, kind of a, an exciting thing, I think, to see kind of just the, the, the change in Microsoft's thought process, but a pretty cool keyboard all the same. Nice. That's awesome. Because, you know, I, I, went from the, I went from the six inch, or I'm sorry, the, 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 the five, well, 5.5 inch iPhone. No, 4.7 inch. 4.7. I'm oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no, all these measurements. Uh, I went from I went from a six, which I, I now have a, a six for work, but I did go to the six uh, the six S plus, and I use swipe on my iPhone six, but I find it very cumbersome on the six S plus. So I I, you know, I I think for that exact reason because there's still there's still enough. You know, with this, there's still enough swipe room where, you know, you put your, where this one is just, you know, it's, it's not easy. Yeah. It's huge. Do you find yourself on your, on your plus, do you find yourself where you can kind of double tap the home button where you don't actually push it all the way down, but you double right. tap and it pulls the screen down. Do you find yourself using that or you just no. pull out the second hand? Okay. Yeah. Because I mean, you could, the, the six, you can do that on the six too. It's kind of pointless. Mm-hmm. But you can do, you can do it on the six. Um, so I, I've not, um, but I think the reason I wanted to go with a six plus after the fact was because it was just for me, you know, doing what I do, uh, makes it a little bit easier. I think, you know, work wise, but you know, I, I, here I am carrying around a six and a six S a six plus for work. So, yeah. I mean, there, there are worse problems to have. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all, geez. These, all these phones. It's a bit. It's-